with our guys competed tonight. Uh, you know, just had a tough time finding ways to score early and use our defense and our energy to get back in the game in the second quarter and did the same thing again in the third and in the fourth. Uh, I'm really proud of DeAndre Bembry, really proud and happy for uh, Jabari Parker. Both those two guys uh, really gave us a spark, created some energy. Ty Wallace, who's been with us for about a week now, uh, really played great. But that, you know, that's, we're still learning each other. We got a lot of young guys. We got a lot of guys that, that are trying to figure out, you know, when the ball's not going in the basket and how to compete. And, you know, I thought the guys I just mentioned really showed that tonight. We got to get everybody to do it. Uh, I guess what contributed to some of those first quarter defensive breakdowns and how did you fix them later on just in the game? Just lack of communication. Uh, Miami's always been one of the best teams in terms of their movement. They run a lot of pistol action. Uh, they slip small, small screens, and it creates confusion. And we just didn't communicate well. Uh, we weren't on the same page. We were really trying to focus on keeping the game in front of us, and they were just able to get behind. And once you get one slip, someone has to overreact and try and help. Next thing you know, you're in rotations, and that's how they got most of their threes in the first quarter. Uh, Cam running point is kind of your, your assessment. Of it, you know, I thought he started the game off great. He gets to the foul line, he gets downhill. Um, you know, there's a there's a fine line between playing with pace and then playing too fast. I thought he had great pace in the first couple possessions, and I thought he sped up. And, you know, I think it was the second quarter, he got caught on two just wild shots. He's playing too fast. And so I think, you know, it's, it's a new spot, it's a new position. It was good for him to, to experience that. Learning how to play with different speeds, changing directions, that's going to be part of his growth. Could you speak to the game with Jabari Parker and what you saw to him that really elevated him today? You know, we, we needed scoring, and he was able to get downhill. Um, you know, he, he's always going to find ways to get into the paint. I thought, really, when he made a couple threes, it opened everything up for him. But we needed that scoring punch. We had 60 points off the, off the bench tonight, which is everything that we needed. Our, our starters struggled a little bit. Um, and so just having him out there, that's his role. I think he's had an opportunity to be a 6th man of the year candidate. Um, and we're going to use him in that way. Just bring him in, find a matchup, and let him go. You mentioned also being uh, impressed with Bimbrey, that level 18 points, 10 rebounds for him tonight. What just, you know, this is what DeAndre was all of last year. Um, always provided the energy. Uh, when he's attacking the rim, it adds an extra bonus. And offensively, he attacked the rim. We were scoring off of our defense. He was flying around. Uh, but the biggest thing is he had eight assists. And that was a really balanced game for him. Six offensive rebounds, eight assists. It was kind of all over the place tonight. We needed everything from him. Just happy for him. You know, he's a guy that's always trying to I throw him at the backup point, I throw him off the bench. Sometimes I was starting him last year. This year he's just he's finding the niche and he, he was great tonight. Uh, how did you see the guys handle not having Trey and having to do some more stuff a little bit by committee? Um, different. Obviously Trey's the facilitator, the lead facilitator. Um, you know, we've had some open looks. The guys aren't making shots. And we shifted that in the second quarter and just attacked the rim. And that's why it was a six-point game. And that's why we got it to a six-point game in the second half as well. Uh, Trey just opens the floor up a little bit more. You know, his shooting, uh, you have to guard him in the pick and roll because he comes off shooting threes. You have to guard him when he's attacking downhill. And you have to collapse the paint when he and John are in the pick and rolls. Um, so I think we missed that, just opening the floor up a little bit more. But we were able to play a different game, which I thought would have been effective. And it was for the most part. We had a stagnant period. We got to six in the fourth quarter, and then we shot about four straight jumpers. And you know, they moved it right back up to 12 or 14. Uh, both in this game and Tuesdays, so how did you feel DeAndre Hunter did defending Jimmy Butler? Um, tough. You know, we're in a lot of red, so I don't know if he was on him the entire time. Uh, we, we were switching a lot, so he started on him, but we, we were switching. It was just trying to keep the game in front. So I don't, I don't know particularly how well he did guarding him one-on-one -on -one, you know, because of the red. I have to watch the film on that one.